Isn't this great? Roman's brilliant plan put Regal in the hospital. So there's no debate now. Who's the best GM in WWE? It's me! You are the picture of class, Miz. I have exactly zero patience for you or any of this. I want the bloodline, and I want them now. I am generally not in the give the dark horse what he wants business. But in this case, I cannot wait to see Brock and the bloodline break you and your big dreams of beating Roman's record at Mania. <sighs> You're gonna be disappointed. You don't even sound sure yourself, but whatever. You wanna get the hell kicked out of you on the way to Mania? Who am I to stop the fun? Hey, I hear you're going after the Bloodline after what they did to you and Regal. I am. They're gonna get what's coming to them. Nobody knows the Bloodline better than I do. I know your story, Sammy. You don't. You only know what you saw on TV. Let me help you take them down. Sammy, I appreciate that. I do. But this is something I have to do on my own. Look, I tried to take out the Bloodline alone and it didn't work. You need backup. I owe my career to Regal. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him having faith in me when nobody else did. And then the bloodline tore him apart while I did nothing. Nothing. I hear you, but I'm telling you, you're making a mistake trying to do this alone. We haven't even talked about the fact that they have Brock Lesnar now. I don't have time for any of this. I'm done talking. I'm taking down the bloodline. Now. Well, I tried. Good luck, champ. You're gonna need it. With the bloodline reunited and stronger than ever, you can see the confidence in Solo Sokoa. It's the undisputed champ! He's taking a big risk if you ask me. This is our undisputed champion attacking Solo in the parking lot? What has the Bloodline been up to for the past few years? This is a small taste of their own medicine. The champ better finish what he started here because what you don't want is an angry Solo Sokoa coming after you. Powerbomb! I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow! Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. Huh. Out of the way in time. Right to the back of the neck. He's able to fend off the attack. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Drops the leg. What reflexes to stop Sokoa? This is just brute power. Release German. What a throw. Vicious right forearm. Kick it again to the back of the head. Oof. Oh, Sakoa holding him at bay. Quick exchange of counters there. And a clothesline. of counter. Super kick! Good night. Solo Sokoa standing ten toes down, ready to fight. Dominating shoulder tackle. Ouch. 
The champion with a hard strike. But here come the Usos. You attack one member of the bloodline, you attack them all. This could be a repeat of what happened when they reunited. And Solo with the spike. And now they're sending him up for something else. Right into the side of that car. He might be joining Regal and Montez Ford on the IR when this is over. What is Jey Uso directing them to do? It looks like the champ's about to go for a ride. Shades of the shield. No, not this. Down onto the car. The champ bit off more than he could chew. And this guy isn't even going to make it to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. For the second time, the newly reformed bloodline has left our undisputed champion lying. That didn't turn out so well. <sighs> yeah, maybe you were right. There is no taking the bloodline out one at a time. There's only taking them all out in a single blow with even numbers. The Usos have a match tonight. I should strike afterwards when they least expect it. Or should I say, we? Yep, but knowing how they operate, we're gonna need one more guy. You got someone in mind? I do. Let's do this. Another big win for the Usos. These guys have been on a roll ever since the Bloodline reunited. Wait, wait, it's the champ and Sami Zayn. We know his history with the Bloodline. And they're taking it to the Usos. The sides have been even up, at least for now. Sami Zayn and the Undisputed Champion are getting after the Usos, sending a direct message to Roman Reigns. Actions speak louder than words, Cole, and the champ is speaking loudly by taking the bloodline head on like this. After what happened in the parking lot the last time the champion went after them, he was smart to bring their old rival, Sami Zayn, to the fight. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Boom, and an uppercut. Nasty. Placed in the corner. Sent outside. What's he looking for here? Oh, no. Such precision. Wow, tornado DDT. I don't know what they're looking for here. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with a simple but effective statement here. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. He eludes the contact. Strikes and kicks and punches. Pretty incredible. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Suplex. Big boy. He's running up empty. This isn't a match. It's just a fight. Hard strikes from the champ. Yeah. But here comes Solo Sokol. Solo nails the champion with a headbutt. So much for evening the odds. The bloodline now is a three on two advantage. Not anymore. The champ and his little buddies walked the bloodline right into a trap. Sammy sends Jey Uso over the top. And there yeah. goes Jimmy. What a shot to Solo Sokoa. He got knocked right out of the ring. They jumped the bloodline from behind, and then they act like they won some kind of fair fight. As soon as the sides were even, the bloodline ran for the hills. It's called a strategic retreat, Cole. The balance of power just shifted on the road to WrestleMania.